Hey guys, Emma here and I have my Abominable Book Club package for May. Now if you'll notice, the bag is usually just black, but they've done this cool design on it. It's got their logo, the Abominable Book Club there at the bottom, and it's like a rib cage. It's on the other side as well, but it's covered up with my delivery label. But yeah, I really chuffed it's on this side too, so I could see it properly. But yeah, I think it was really fun. That's really awesome. So hey, I like that extra touch, guys. Uh, as always, I will link them down below. It is a horror book subscription box. This is just the kind of basic, the books bare bones package, but the full guts version, you'll get food and sweets and coffees and teas and things like that as well. But I just want the books. So if I can get it open, there we go. Let's just get in and see what we got. So book one feels like a hard cover and it is The Salt Grows Heavy by Cassandra Kaw. That is a really creepy cover. <laughs> uh, there is a sign thing in here, but it's for another book, so I will hold that down there. Uh, so let's see what this book is. Quite thin. Let's see what this book is about. So it says, myths are full of lies. This is not one of them. Fleeing the downfall of an empire, a mermaid and her plague doctor companion escape into the eerie shadows of a wintry forest. Amongst the bark and snow, they are drawn into ancient games for ageless children, a murderous hunt of blood and sacrifice, deep in the woods, where three who call themselves saints rule over them all like gods. Trapped in a feverish nightmare of masked monsters, stitches and surgeons, and needle teeth, the mermaid must embrace all of her cruelty and hungers to free the children. So yeah, I think um, this author had written another book that we got in one of these, and I, I was really anticipating it because everyone was going on and on about it and I didn't like it. Um, I can't remember what it was called, something about teeth <laughs> or something like that. I'll, if I can find it, I'll put it here. But uh, yeah, I didn't love that one. So we'll see about this one. The cover is cool and you know I love a good cover. So, and Mermaids and Plague Doctors, that sounds pretty cool. So we shall see. Anyway, that is book one. And book two is Patricia Wants to Cuddle by Samantha Allen. So let's see, so this is what we got the, um, it's like a blood splattered um, kind of like signature sticker for the book, it's for this one. So it says, Renee has made it, she's in the final four, but is she dying to win? Renee should be thrilled to have been chosen as one of the final four contestants in The Catch, the world's biggest reality show. But now that she, the other contestants, and Jeremy, the catch, have arrived on the remote wooded island for the final show, Renee is starting to wonder if there's something wrong, if she's taking a bigger risk than she thought. And as she and the other contestants begin their final challenges, they slowly realise that the island they've been taken to is hiding a terrifying secret, one that could make the first elimination event all too real. So yeah, that sounds interesting. It kind of sounds like one of these stupid, um reality dating shows or something like that so we'll we'll see i don't watch those so we'll see if it makes fun of them that would be quite funny but yeah that is book two with the signed book plate and then we've got our abominable book club bookmark here as always and then the last thing in here should be yep it's the second hand book it's a bigger one than normal uh, and it's always lovingly wrapped in brown paper and string. There is no blood splatter on this one, but there normally is. So, but that is all that's in the package. So let's see what we got for our second hand book. So for our second hand book, we got, oh, it's a Stephen King one, Everything's Eventual. I don't think I've read this one either. That's quite handy. Cause sometimes I, I've got one Stephen King book I got in one box that I'd got in a previous one, but I don't think I have this one. I don't think I've read it before. I don't recognize the title. So Everything's Eventual. It says, um, a compelling and captivating collection, the first volume of stories from the best-selling author in almost a decade. In this eerie, enchanting compilation, Stephen King takes readers down a road less travelled, for a good reason. In the blockbuster e-book, Riding the Bullet, terror becomes deja vu all over again when you get that feeling you can only say what it is in French. Huh? <laughs> Uh, LT's theory of pets will make you stop and think before giving a dog to a loved one and there are 11 more stories that will keep you awake until dawn. Nothing is quite as it seems. Expect the unexpected in this veritable treasure trove of enthralling, witty, dark tales that could only come from the imagination of the greatest storyteller of our time. 
that's probably why I've never heard of it or read it because I'm not a big fan of short story collections, even Stephen King's ones, I'm just not a big fan. But hey, I will give it a go. As I say, I'm sure I don't have this one already, so that is awesome. That is my secondhand book. And as I say, that is everything that is in the package there. So we got for a secondhand book, we got Stephen King's Everything Eventual. And then we got Patricia Wants to Cuddle by Samantha Allen and The Salt Grows Heavy by Sandra Call. So that is everything that we got in our May Abominable Book Club. I'm excited to get into those shorter um, main books than normal. But hey, I have so many to read that some shorter ones is uh, fine with me. <laughs> get through them a bit quicker. I still have a massive pile to get through. Uh, but that is it for this one, guys. Any comments, leave them down below. Share with your friends, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye!